Okay, got to make another episode now because it seems like every time I exit, I uh, lose everything. And that's just no good. Hey, why are you going in circles and doing, you know, the circling thing? Seems like a lot of the mobs in this game like to go in circles when they're not actually fighting anyone. Ooh, thank you, Goblin. That was very helpful. Perfect. Nine Dylan dead. Nine dead Dylan on a doorknob. That was weird. Why would they be on a doorknob? I think I'm just remembering that line from Charles Dickens. <laughs> the deader than a doorknob. Why should a doorknob be the deadest piece of ironmongery in the trade? Right, okay, you can stop killing him now. <laughs> wow, you did not like him, did you? Ah, oh, yawn. <laughs> it's like, easy peasy. Give me another one. Wow, these, these goblins. I like I like having goblin soldiers. That's pretty awesome. Oh. I highly recommend. They're so easy to find. And they never try to talk to you or anything. That's the mark of a good soldier. <laughs> look at him. He's just looking at me going, yeah, oh, okay. I don't know what that was for, but maybe it's a mark of respect to start digging right in front of me. Die. Ha ha. Hey, I did the killing blow while you did most of the work. And now you're going back to mining. Okay. That's cool. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Dillon. Mr. Dillon, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. I must say, you're looking swell. Swell, swell, swell. If I die right now, I can assume it was the Dillon blow because I'm pretty low on health. I should use the meat. I should use the meat and greet. The meat that I got from the meet and greet. There was no meet and greet. That actually makes me rather sad just thinking about it. Why wasn't there a meet and greet? Why wasn't I invited to the meet and greet? <sighs> For that matter, friends and other relations, why weren't you invited to the meet and greet? It's just sad. I don't even feel as bad for myself now that I think about how sad it must be for you. Well, if I ever have a meet and greet, I'll be sure to invite as many of my friends and other relations, as many of you, as I can. Oh. You know, if I remember having said that after I'm done recording this episode. <laughs> of course I'll remember. I'll, I'll always remember. My, my friends and other relations. Some of you probably are related to me in some way. Who knows, really? Who knows? We'll look into it some other time. <laughs> This is a quick way to level up. Hey, goblin warrior. Hey. For your noteworthy deeds, look at me. Look at me. Okay, well, you're not getting a medal today. You're not even going to look at me. But you look at your commanding officer. How offensive. I'm offended. I'm offended by your lack of looking at me. That's... That sounds really weird. Why do you have double pickaxes? I understand... I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Why would you have two pickaxes? One on your belt and the other in your hand. Can't imagine needing more than one. They're pretty heavy. Okay, let's go to sleep so the Dylan will come back and we can kill them. <clears throat> oh, I need more swords. Let me grab my swords. Swords! Attend! At least my swords attend. At least my swords listen to me. Oh, hi, Ted. Maybe if you uh, see a Dylan come this way, you can try and kill him, because that'd be nice. We're not trying to block all the entrances, but since you're at this entrance, you can block this one. I just think that would be good. Oh, it's still daytime. Let's go sleeping. Let's go sleeping. Again. Where's the bed? I'll tell you, I could get lost anywhere. There we go. Anywhere at all. Anywhere at all, with the slightest provocation. Oh, I'm level 22. That makes me feel good. Because when you're 22... I'm getting the... I'm mixing up two Taylor Swift songs, and I know I'm doing it. Um, it's, it's when you're 16 and her song's 22. Why does she sing about numbers all the time? I don't know, but I like Taylor Swift anyway. 
despite her <laughs> affinity for, um, I was going to say Count Chocula, but that's not his name. The Count. Just, they just call him the Count, right, on Sesame Street? Is that a second baby Hugo? Is that the goblin? Is That's one of my goblin warriors. How did you get out of that ways? Goodness gracious. Gurfy Murphy. Why would you do that to a turkey? What did that turkey do to you? Did I kill him? Or did I hit the goblin warrior? I guess the goblin warrior will let me know. Oh, yeah, I must not have hit him, because <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe he'd actually listen to me if or look at me if I did. Huh. Wouldn't you? I'm gonna stand on your head. Oh, oh okay. Never mind. Back to fighting. Taha. Taha. Tahia. Katia. Wa. You can run, but you can't hide. Ooh, a horse. Is that a baby horse? Because that would fit the theme of this cabin. Or this cave entirely. Yep, a baby horse. Wow. This cave, when I first got here, had baby horses, baby giggles, baby hugos, and baby goblins. All sharing the same <coughs> lovely space. It is lovely. It's the cave of wonders lovely. The cave of wonders. Ooh, more safe boxes. Just one more, right? Um, wrong button. Yeah, just one more. And then we can put away the block and be done. So let's get the pickaxe ready for when he comes back. And he will come back. There he is. And he's going to kill me. He's going to try. But I've got a sword up my sleeve. Actually, it's in my hand. I don't know. Where do I keep it? On my belt? Where exactly is my inventory located on my body? Is it just a big utility belt? Or is it... um ooh, Perfect. He's on the run. Yep, he died. Perfect! Paula will be so happy, and you are so yawny. You should be sleepy. You should be this one of the sleepy dwarves. Okay, whoa. I thought I got rid of that. Did I get the wrong spawner? Yes, I did. Okay. Well, I'm going to take care of this one now. Okay, Dylan, your spawner's gone. Give up. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Turn away and slap the door. You should listen to Elsa. Elsa, no Elsa knows what she's saying. She speaks words of wisdom, ineffable wisdom. And yet she speaks them in spite of their ineffability. And it's amazing. And we all gather around and listen. And we, we make parody videos. And we it's the internet. And we do it. We do that. And we've been doing it for months. And all the preschoolers in my class have been singing it for months. And it's... um. It's not quite annoying yet, but I'm sure someday it will be. And the only reason it isn't yet is because I really love that song. <laughs> but um, enough about me. It's the Dylan who should be letting go, letting it go. Maybe I should too, actually. Let's let it go. Let's all let it go. I suppose that's the only reason the song's still around is because we still haven't listened. We still need to let it go. That's how it works, right? It's something like that. Oh, all right. Uh, I have a teleporter left, right? Yeah, good. Whew. Thankfully. Bye-bye, goblins. Actually, wait. There was something I wanted to do. What is it? Oh, yeah. This. Let's put a safety or a safety box right here and put our little goblin army inside the safety box. Ba -da -bum -bum. Ba -da -dum -bum -bum. And off we go to the waterfall cabin, flying high into the sun. Where's the sun? No sun right now, that's the moon. Oh, and that's the roof, the, roof, the, the ceiling. Okay. Well, happy days. Happy days are here again. I'm down to one meat. One meet and greet. <clears throat> and I'm almost out of time. Let's grab Paula's spawner here. Come on, Paula. Come on. Okay. If I go in through the doors, there are a lot of... Yes, see? That's how it works. You run through the doors and then everything spawns. Don't know why that is, but I kind of like the idea. 
Um, warrior. Big Hugo. Female warrior. There we go. Perfect. Uh, okay, run quick, 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 quick. Paula, speak to me. Are you there? You didn't suffocate in that box, did you? Oh, good. Gratefully not. Hopefully now they will leave me alone. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy for you, Paula. More sword damage. All right, now. It wasn't the Dylan. It was the Dark Werewolf. Go kill them, and I'll give you my very best weapon. Kill 20 of them. Well, I guess if you're going to do it, do it right, huh? All right, friends and other relations, thank you for sticking with me for this episode of episodes. This epic of epics. Or at least as epic as a 10-minute video can be, right? It's not exactly a Homeric epic, but it's, it's epic still. Thank you, friends and other relations, and I will see you anon. Also, we should try, try talking to Hugo again. Anyway, um, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I promise. Have a fun adventure. Bye.